Welcome back to Open Waters. I'm your host, Benjamin Foreman, delivering you crystal clear facts on the water industry. Today we are joined with a very special guest, my personal acquaintance and fellow board member, Michael Elowich. So let's jump right into the bottle design. We have a nice smooth bottle that forms into a perfectly nice pouring neck. We have, there's a nice design on the side, very pretty. But once we get into the label, it's very bland. Uh, it doesn't really strike my attention at all, but strongly contrasting the product inside. At 179 per bottle, I think it is quite a steal, high quality that does not break the bank. So should we jump in? Let's do it. Cheers. So before we talk about taste, you want to get into the technical logistics of the piece. Let's. <coughs> An interesting piece, actually bottled in Germany since the year 1888. Wow. This bottle is from the Volcanic Eiffel. So where exactly is the Volcanic Eiffel and what are, what are the textures? Great question. The Volcanic Eiffel is a low mountain range in eastern Belgium, western Germany. Wow. Mm. In the tertiary and quaternary geological eras, the Eiffel was actually a site of extensive volcanic activity. Wow. That's mm. very impressive. Very. So moving into the carbonation of the water, I would say that this beverage is a classically carbonated bottle, meaning that the beverage contains 5 to 7.5 milligrams of carbon dioxide per serving. Best served at a cool 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, so how would you describe the mouthfeel? A very important term in this business. You know, it's just so great. Mm -hmm. It's almost <coughs> delicate, very classic, bold texture. You can really feel it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mineral content wise, the total dissolved solid content is 2,500 milligrams, giving it sort of a, its own distinct taste, I would say. So it, it pairs well with steak and heavy meals, just like a heavy red wine. Mm -hmm. So, I know the pH is pretty high on this one. You want to give us a reading? Yeah, it's about a 5.9 to a 6. Wow, that is pretty impressive. So that's a 5-star superior virgin and healthy. That it is. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. So moving on from there, do you know what other accolades the uh, beverage has gotten? This sparkling water actually is a natural mineral water given a certificate by the MTVO. What is that exactly? The MTVO actually is the German Mineral and Table Regulation. Oh great. Do you right. want some more? I'll take some. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Interestingly enough, Ben, this piece is bottled at the source of its collection, Wow! maintaining the most natural purity. Hmm. Now, can you tell me what is in this that makes it so pure? Uh, I would say due to a semi-high level of magnesium, 100 milligrams per liter, <coughs> Gerald Steiner falls into the moderately hard category of water density, Wow! giving it immaculate product quality, Great. thus making it a true product of, product of nature, obtained from deep groundwater, filtered and purified through layers of sediment and rock for decades. Decades. So why don't we give it a one more sip and then we'll get into some conclusion. Let's do okay. that. Mm. So let's explain our rating system to the viewers. Um, so you want to take that one? Sure. It's about a five star rating. Mm -hmm. One star being, you know, not Low quality, quality, very poor. Mm -hmm. Nothing that my time will ever touch. A five star being only the highest tier of sparkling waters. Exactly. So we have three categories today, bottle design, cost, you know, and taste. So what would you give the bottle design of the Gerald Steiner? Due to its simple, uh, unsophisticated, kind of classic bottle look, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 2.5 stars mm -hmm. here. Very good. Mm -hmm. And cost, for $1.79 you know, a bottle, 23.5 fluid That's ounces. So, such a deal. My five stars. Five stars. I mean, why would you even touch any other water? There's no real reason. Exactly. To exactly. And taste, I would say a three. The mouthfeel is nothing that, nothing short of exceptional, but uh, it just doesn't have that definitive edge. A little airy. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's definitely, it. definitely a little airy. Mm -hmm. So, wrapping up today's show, you want to take it away? I'll do it. All right. That's been open waters. 
and always keep it strictly sparkling. sparkling.